and we're live. Okay, there we go. Already glare on the glasses. Already. I'll wait for folks to join. Hey, what's up? Hello. Hello. Whew. I miss you. Oh, I miss you too, Rinda. What you doing? What are you doing? Hey, girl. I hope you feel better. Do you make every Do it. Do it. Singles. Um, when I go to IMAX, do I have the crayon pal? I do not. Oh, I do not have the crayon palette, but uh, back to the magnetic palette comment. Singles are, hey, Oklahoma, on top of my list to get at IMAX because I will. I will come because I have so many magnetic palettes. Hey, everybody popping in at the same time. What's up? What's up? I can't see nobody because I don't have my contacts in. <sighs> Give me a minute. Glasses was messed up. Had to put on a little moisturizer on my face. A little dry. I probably should have prepped all that before I um before I got loud. Perfect, honey. I wasn't talking today. I don't have nothing new out yet. I feel like they'll be you know seasonal instead of putting out a little palette here and there. <coughs> they're gonna put out higher collections. That's for the summer and like holiday. So I'm hoping they'll have a spring collection. Um. That would be nice, but yeah, my perfusion drawer is to the top. So, all right, everybody's doing well. I mean, I haven't gone live in a while. I'm not gonna lie, I try to set a live schedule. Like I was like, we can do it Sundays, but like, I just, I'm everywhere, y'all. I be rolling. Um, I, if I tell you like a day or like a week, and it's just, I just, so, I didn't want to do them more. It's just when. Um, so, how are things? I, we got so much to talk about. Hey, Chicago, can't wait to hear you chat about Ahmed. So, you went to the one in Atlanta. We're going to talk about that. How was it? Because that was the first one in Atlanta. They're bringing a new location in, which is great. Did you enjoy yourself? Was that your first Ahmed? Brittany. I'm watching a good movies. I can't stay, but I love you. Miss you. Love you and miss you too. Enjoy your movie. What you watching? Bird Box? Because <laughs> I've seen that. <clears throat> <clears throat> love you, boo. <sighs> I got two. My, these are like crack. The orange creams from Taco Bell. Um, And I have my water. So. So, hi everybody. Oh, okay. So, um, the first thing is, I got. I was. This is not the this live, but there I'm looking right at them. So, I must pray and I'm just praying under the house. There'll be more people there, but I felt like people didn't know about it. People, as in like, you mean just like the crowd wasn't big? Probably, probably you got to build up the hype. Um, so this is not what this video is about. We're going to talk about, um, <laughs> we're going to talk about, um, makeup and beauty. I have things to share. I got a little mini haul from Ulta's clearance section. Hello from Ulta's clearance section, uh, and IMAX and everything, but I went to Target today. Um, and I went there for baby wipes. Didn't even come out with baby wipes because, but I got four pairs of shoes for less than $30. So Target current section. Yo. Yo. So I'm going to show you my shoes. 
because I, mean, I have to I have to share. Uh, last week, me and my mom went out. Um, she had wanted to get some jeans from Old Navy, and we happened to go in on a day where their clearance section was like an additional 40% off, and I got a whole bunch of um, tops and jumpsuits for like a dollar and 48 cents. Well, that's good. I'm glad you had a smooth time. But once once it builds up, yeah. Atlanta, I can see, is a big city. Atlanta, can, I can see it getting popping and packed as the years go on and start selling out. Because like when New York first started, clearly, you know, it didn't sell out every year and all that. But I can see it blowing up. But good for you where you had an easy time. But um, anyway, back to the shoes. I'm going to share them with you all. You all. So my style is very... I, I hate... I don't like to share, like I posted on Instagram, if you follow me on Instagram, full body pictures. I don't share a lot of full body pictures. Um, one, because of I, the makeup, I'm, I'm more than just my makeup now. Um, also because I don't, I don't know, I don't like the judging of people's styles because I feel like my style is very, just, you can't pinpoint it. Like, it, comfort, glam, but then like I'm in t-shirts and jeans all the time. I don't know. But anyway, so, let me judge my towel. But anyway, so let me show you these full pairs. First pair, I got some sandals for the summer. Um, I watched it already. I'm watching. Oh, okay. Hello. Yeah, I watched Bird Box. Um, I have some questions. I love Sandra Bullock, and I think she's an amazing actress. But I do have questions about that movie, so I ain't even getting into it. So, the first pair of these sandals. I wear a size 11. I have big feet. Um, 10 to 11. Sneakers. Like um, sneakers, I can wear 10. But like sandals, heels, I like 11. I like that room. Um, so anyway, these were $5, $4.98. How cute. How cute. Okay. All right. They're rose gold. Five bucks. Target. All right. Okay. So the next two, I have to preface. Because my mom gets, I love a, a business slide. I will. I'll tell them you say, hey, um, a business slide, like a first slide. I'm, I love a slide shoe. High heeled mules, like I love a slide. Like, oh, yo, a good slide. So anyway, when these first came out in Target, they were like $40. And I was like, they're so cute. But then they went on clearance today for six. Like, so I waited till the end of the season. First pair, honey, these right here, honey. This is like where to work. This is well, where to one of my jobs. I can't wear these in the lab, but my other job, I wear these. Cute, honey, a slide. Mm. And this is a good, I mean, this is a, I'm going to wear this all day, but like take your heels off and still be, but these will be in place of the heels all the whole day. These are even cuter. Oh, let me show you. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Yo, a dress, a business slide. That's what I call them. My mother get mad at me. A business slide. She's not a fan of slides. You and these slides. All right. So I got those. Thanks. Seven dollars, y'all. Six ninety eight. Six ninety eight from forty two dollars. Six ninety eight. No. Yo. All right. Now this is the last pair. I looked at them. And I had to say my famous line when I'm looking at something. I'm like, you know what? I can do something with that. That's what I say. So like a, cl a clothing item that's unique. It's like, I can do something with that. So these, if you describe them to me, I'm like, mm, they not. Mm. Let me just preface this with, I'm not a fan of a church heel. <laughs> when I say church heel, I mean a kitten heel. But I don't know. These are cute. So I picked these up. They're, again, a slot, and these were $8, I think. So, they look better on the foot, obviously. I love them for this and that they're pointy toe. I would definitely wear them with pants, long pants, to cover this kitten, but um, it actually makes it comfortable to walk in. But, boots, sandals, and chucks, those slides are cute. Thanks. So, yes, this cute little grandma kitten, I'm going to rock it because I think the color is beautiful, and I don't have any shoes this color. Um, yeah, so I had to share. I had to share. I had to share. Four pairs of shoes for less than $30. I had to share. All right, on to the beauty thing. So I do have a mini haul. Um, yeah, so. Into it. 
I went to Sephora and Ulta today to browse, you know, um, really to browse because I was this close to getting the Huda one, but I'm like, I I like it and I, I know I want to get it, but like right now, I don't know. I've gotten all my Hoodas in New York and I was like, well, maybe I'll just wait till I go to New York and get it. I don't know why. Um, it's 65 bucks and I just don't feel like spending $65 right now. I spent $65 today, but I got a lot more for my $65. So, yo, my glasses. Thanks. All right. So at Sephora, these were $12. Um, these are the Bite Amuse Bouche Liquify. So they're a shinier liquid lipstick. They remind me of the Milani Amour Shine um, lipsticks. Um, but anyway, these were half off. So they were $12 instead of $24. And I got one unique shade. And this is the shade Demi Glaze. Okay. I have some samples of these, not samples, but the deluxe sizes that you get around the holiday time. This was unique enough where I figured I very, very um plummy nude, cool toned. Let's get up in there. I thought that was cute. I thought that was cute. And I was like, all right, I'll pick that up. And then in line, one thing I noticed at Sephora, um, you guys. They're minis, the Sephora on the fly area, like the deluxe size things that you can fly with. They make sure they're, you know, the small size. They have a lot more options. So one thing I noticed, the La Mercier, the tiny, uh, I don't even know where mine is, translucent powder, it only came, it only came, uh, but I love this finish. Yeah, I'm a matte girl too. But it only came in the regular one. They have the translucent deep Laura Mercier powder in a deluxe size if you don't want to buy the big one or if you got to travel. And I never saw that before. Um, another one, the Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Sculpting Concealer. They had those in minis um, for $12 or $13. And they had various shades um, and not just like the white shades. Um, this is my full size and I got a mini of a lighter shade. Um... They had those, the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. They had more shades than just custard. They had like, um, not cafe, caramel. They had darker shades in these mini deluxe samples. And I noticed that in the whole display, a lot of the mini deluxe samples now came in various shades. So, and they were like all less than $20 um, from various brands. So definitely check that out. I just noticed that. So I picked up uh, another, again, the Born This Way, and I picked it up in the shade Butterscotch. The one I have, the stuff is like 30 bucks. Um, and you guys know I rarely finish anything. So the small one was 12 or $13, which I can get with. This is maple that I the full size that I own. I went even lighter and got butterscotch. Not that much lighter. Definitely warmer though. For under my eye. So Yes. Good job with the deluxe samples. That's all I got from Sephora. I'm just walking around. <laughs> That's all I got. Again, my big Sephora haul is not coming until New York City. All right. So, Ulta's clearance section. Um, my chat is still open, so feel free to answer questions. If you're new to my new to my lives, just I answer. I try to answer everything that comes through, and I think I do a pretty good job inappropriate we just block them my niece just said auntie that lady that keeps you going to altar oh lord don't put that on me don't put that on me hi niece speaking of nieces i have a nephew well my best friend jessica um she gave birth tuesday to my godson tristan so just let y'all know my god mom uh, Closest I'll get to being a real mom, unless it's a cat. Unless it's a cat. All right. Thanks. Okay. So, everything I got from Ulta was on sale. Like, clearance sale. Um, and everything was an additional 50% off. Um from the center and then the girl gave me another 50 like the girl the register the way she rung it up i got my receipt so 
They told me everything on clearance with the yellow and white stickers were 50, an additional 50%. For an example, this Clinique Foundation. Hey, hey, thank you. Um, this Clinique Foundation, see how it's on clearance for work. Thirteen fifty, right? It's on clearance for thirteen fifty. Excuse this nail. I picked off all the glitter. It was a glitter nail, and I picked it all off. Um, anyway, thirteen fifty. So it should have been six seventy five or something like that. The burn book pack. Not into it. I've seen it. I'm just. I'm not into a lot of those. I don't want to say gimmicky, but. Eh. <laughs> um. That's storybook cosmetics, isn't it? I think. Um, anyway, this should have been like six something. It was, it rang up six something. No, it rang up 1350 and she did something. Where is it? 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 Yeah. So it was 50% off. It should have 50% off and it was an additional 50% off the sale price. So it should have been six something. It was three thirty-seven. She gave me another fifty percent off. So, yeah, all my stuff I'm gonna show you totaled forty-two bucks. Um, so anyway, I picked up this. I start with this. This is the Clinique Super Balance Silk Makeup, a cheap foundation, a new foundation. This one has SPF in it. Um, it said like uh, moderate coverage, natural matte finish. Why not? Why not give it a try for three dollars? Um, the other two, talk about a blessing, yes. The other two Clinique foundations that I own, I love. So, anyways, it's a super balance. It reminds me of a, the jar. Um, it reminds me of the... Did you buy the Inside of Pass ticket for MSC? Yes, we were talking about IMAX. And yes, I did buy the Inside of Pass. I don't know if it's worth it because I haven't experienced all that comes with it yet. Um, anyway, but we will talk about it a little bit more. It reminds me of the Estee Lauder Double Wear bottle, right? Or the Hey China, or the NARS bottle a little bit. Anyway, there's no pump, but for three dollars, I'm gonna give it a try. And I met the lady matched me, but um, and she matched me fine ish. But I went back and got the next shade. Anyway, um, I got twenty silk cocoa, and this was the darkest or the next to the darkest which was kind of weird because their other foundation their two and one goes darker than this which i don't know anyway picked that up for three bucks so thank you thank you lady at the register i got two of them actually i did get two of them why i don't know like like in my mind okay i need a backup when things are on sale i guess you have that mentality mm. i don't like my backups all right anyway the next item on the list, okay, um, was this cover effects set. Again, this was twelve fifty. Before I even tell you what it is, and it rang up. Cover effects. It rang up twelve fifty. Yeah, and this one was six twenty five. She didn't give me an additional fifty percent. It was six twenty five. I do always want to say I don't play around. Hey, I don't play around. Anyway, so this is the Glam and Glow Shimmer Veil Trio from Cover Effects. I'm going to open them up. And it says three cult favorite shades of Shimmer Veil for eyes, lips, cheeks, and beyond. So I guess it's just like an all-purpose shimmery thing. All right. We got Celestial. Yeah, eyes, lips, cheeks. Celestial. They have... Huh. They remind me of a... Let me just let me just swatch them. Um, pretty, but I'm trying to figure out this formula, what it reminds me of. Uh, so I don't like this applicator. I like this product, but this applicator, I feel like this should have been in a pot. That's gonna annoy me. And then Moonstone. Out of all three of these shades, these would be, these would be great pops on the lid. I think the only place I wouldn't put these is on my lips. They're not that attractive to me for the lips. Anyway, these shimmery, beautiful. Again, they're just called shimmer veils. I don't know. I, I don't know. But they're pretty. They don't have a scent. I wonder if they dry down. I'm going to leave that there. I wonder if they dry down. All right. 
Um, where are we? Okay, the next thing I got is the Mac from the Mac Aaliyah collection has been around for a very long time. And one thing with Mac is I have to really like it to spend the money on it. Not saying Mac is the most expensive, but I don't know. I just feel like Mac is always going to be there. I, I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, um, I tried, I feel like it was the lipsticks, the bullet lipsticks. I remember I swatched them a while ago and it just didn't interest me. I didn't realize they had lip glosses and stuff too. So anyway, this was on clearance. This is the lip gloss in one in a million. The lip glass, the MAC lip glass. And this was $10.50, but I'm saying I'm all over the place. Yep, $4.38. I got it for $4.38. And this is a lip glass. It's a deeper. Let's watch that above my stuff. Yes, yes. Oh, Lord. Thank you for that mini review. That's a pretty lip gloss. So, this is my first lip glass. I've never owned um, a MAC lip glass before. So, that's interesting. But that's pretty. Okay. Continuing with MAC. So, I saw these had to get it. I should have got the third one. I should have got the other color, but I didn't. This is the MAC Hyper Real Foundation. But it's it's the effects one. So it's the Hyper Real Foundation. I don't know. Okay, let me calm down. I don't know if this comes in actual foundation shades or they just call this this. But it's a like a mixer. Um, under your foundation, with your foundation, on top, highlight type of thing, whatever. So this first one I have is called Gold Effects. You get a lot in here. You get a whole ounce. It's called Gold Effects. And what it is... It's a, I'm having a hard time explaining. All right, just, just gotta show you. Just gotta show you. See, that's what it is. It's not really a foundation. It's like a whatever. So anyway, they're like $35, $36. All clearance for $18.60. And like I said, I paid, I have no idea how she did this. Because one, I paid $4.65, and the other one, I paid $9. So, I don't know. Whatever. Um, So, this is the gold effects one. And I also got the rose gold effects one. And then they had the violet effects. But I didn't get that one. Oh, wow. And this is the rose gold effects one. Let's see. Whoa, that's a lot. So I was like, okay, okay. I think I will put, I've mixed my foundation with it. I think that's what I would want to do. All right, and then finally from Ulta, oh, I bought some wipes to wipe my arm off in the car, but they're not exciting. Um, finally, I got, these were on clear, well, they weren't in the clearance section. They was in the Makeup Revolution section. But there was a sign. It was like, Makeup Revolution, fall all as foils, $2. Um, and they had six shades, and I picked up all six shades for $2. But then she gave me an extra 50% off of them, and they were a dollar. So I paid a dollar for them. They were originally $8. Yeah, she gave me 50% off of them. So Thanks. Shout out to you. All right, so... Um, these are kind of like the Stila Magnificent Metals, where you get this liquid liquid primer. Th right, thank you, Ulta Color. This liquid primer, and you get this uh, metallic style shadow. Um, so I already just swatched that one. Let's let's do um, let's do this one. So this one's called Rebound. I'll open it up and show you. <laughs> <clears throat> for real yeah so you get this shadow you get a in a jar this 
it is a powder, like a pressed pigment style shadow. And then you get this liquid primer stuff. So let's just swatch this on its own. It's a creamy formula, just like the Stila one. You see that? It's like, I can put an indent into it. So, whoa. That's intense. This probably will benefit you applying it with your finger. All right. Now, I'm going to take and drop a drop of the intensifying primer. Because there's no instructions on the box. Right in there. Why not? Let's do one. I feel like that's enough. Yeah, it makes it creamier. Honestly, I don't see that much of a difference. I really don't see as much of a difference. It's already intense without the primer. So, I mean, it's still nice, but I don't see what the primer does. Maybe it adds to the longevity or something. I don't know. <laughs> but So, yeah, I'll show you the other shades I got real quick. I won't do all that swatching stuff. But, yeah, that's my mini haul. That's, that's all I got. Um, I guess a couple other new things. Not really. Um, the Maybelline Super Stay. I got this powder. And I... That's true. Saved the primer. Now I got six of them. Um... It's all right. I haven't used it on its own yet. I've used it over foundation and it set it just fine. So far, there's nothing amazing about it, but I have yet to use it as a foundation yet. Um, I picked up the Poreless Putty Primer, the e.l.f. one that's supposed to be a dupe for the Tatcha that I have a small one of. Again, haven't used it yet. <laughs> um, I've used the Tatcha one and it's nice, but... So, just those kind of things that are sitting over here. That's about it. Um, all right, so back to the Magnificent Metals, Magnificent Foil, whatever, Magnificent's not the name. Sorry. Flawless Foils. This one is Rose Gold. Let's take them out. I'm going to have to take them out anyway. So, what's up with you guys? We can get into IMATS. Chat. This is Rose Gold. Thank you so much. I already swatched this one. That makes me so happy to hear. You're really going to enjoy... Was that Sunday's video? Um, because I'm trying to get into the education part of makeup. Um, I did a brandless tutorial a couple weeks ago where I did that blue and I did it brandless. So to show, you know, like to not focus on the brand so much, just the technique and the makeup and the art and everything. And so I think I'm turning that into a series called Brandless Beauty. And Friday's video was the first video and it's a tutorial and I don't mention any brands. And it's on the education side, my teacher comes out. So I'm really excited about that video. I really thought about it. This is, thank you. I love you for watching. It's, I just enjoy what I do and I'm so happy that you guys enjoy it. This is called Overcome. Okay. Got all these little baby primers. What's your honest opinion on Coastal Scents? Um, give me one second. This one's called Unicorn Foil. Unicorn Foil. By this being white, let's swatch this because I'm sure it's some, some dual chromey stuff. All right. Just as I thought. You're fine. I knew what you meant. Focus. All right. I'll just swatch it. Whoa. That's pretty. That is unicorn foil. Um, okay. Two more. Two more. Two more. Two more. This one's called 
rival. I gotta move my face out of the way for it to focus. Um, this one's called, did I buy two? Damn it, I got two of the same. I got two overcome. So, I really got five. All right. Four dollar, I lost a dollar, it's all good. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's my mini haul situation. All right, I'm at y'all. So, I am going, as I go every year, this will be my, oh, I gotta count. First year I went with Jessica. Second year I went by myself. Third year I went with my, with my mom. Fourth year I went with my mom and Nelson. Fifth year I went with my mom, Nelson, and Lorinda. Sixth year I went with my mom, Nelson, Lorinda, her boyfriend. This is my seventh year. This is my seventh year going. So... I'm out of water. This is my seventh year going, and I am just as excited as I've always been. Like, this is like a highlight, um, one of the biggest highlights of my year, um, besides like a, another vacation vacation. Uh, but, yeah, I'm pumped. Uh, I'm going to New York. Uh, we go up on, we make it a whole, we make a trip, uh, like a whole Maybe vacation. We go up on Thursday. I'm at this Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. I'm going Saturday and Sunday. Um, and we come back on Monday. One, the reason why we come back on Monday is because anybody checking out the hotel, going to, I'm, anybody that's like, we need a day. We need that day. So, yes, I did buy the Insider Pass. So if you're not familiar, the Insider Pass is, they have this new thing. Um, so one day... Let me calm down. One day is $65. If you want to go Saturday, $65 or Sunday, is $65. They were cheaper. They were $55 before December 31st, and that's when my mom bought hers. But anyway, they're $65 now. You can get both days for $85, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> you can get both days for $85, and then you can get the Insider Pass. Mind you, this is all non-pro discounts. This is general admission. You can get the Insider Pass for $175, and what this gets you is admission to Saturday and Sunday. On Saturday, you get to go in at 9 a.m. instead of 10 a.m. Um, when the pros go in, and I'm going to tell you this. I'm at sales out every year. I'm going to tell you this. That hour, just an hour earlier, that makes a significant difference. Do you know how much crap you can get done in an hour when everyone's not there, when the lines are not wrapped around the corner? Do you know how many booths you can visit in an hour? I plan to take advantage of that early hour and go to those booths that will be a long line where I can go in and out and move before the whole general admission, admission gets in there. Thanks. My nails are a mess. Picked off all my glitter off my ring finger, but... um. Um, I think I found a nail shop here because, like, I drive back to my hometown to get my nails done. And I think I might have found a nail shop here. So I might let them do my New York nails, but I don't know. Thank you. It's just a gray gel polish. Minus that one. <laughs> um, okay. So that gets you in early. And then you get a swag bag filled with, it's like $200 worth of products donated, submitted by the... Um, companies that are going to be there or some of the companies that are going to be there. What are in them? I don't know. I didn't see a LA one. LA had this option. I didn't see the LA ones. I might have to look up some YouTube videos to see what was in them. But to answer your question, is it worth it? Um, based on the information that I have now, I, I don't know. I have to experience it and decide for myself. For example, my mother, it's not worth it for her. She's going one day. Um, She always goes one day, so she's going Saturday. She just spent $55 for a Saturday ticket. She's not going to wait in line. So, like, if the doors open at 10, she'll probably get on an Uber from the hotel at, like, 10, 15 and get here when the line's already in, and she can just walk on in because she's going to give us her list of things that we need to get from, like, the long line booth since we're there early. That kind of thing. So, if you have a group of people... It might benefit. I, I don't know. Um, as far as the swag bag, I have to see. I'll let you know after I'm at if that was worth the extra 90 bucks. Because if I just bought two days, it would have been 95. Um, but it was 175. So 95, 105, 115, 
from 25, 35, 45, 55, 60, 70, 80, extra 80 bucks. So... I'll let you know. I'll let you know. Um, but yeah, that was, that's what I purchased. And I'm really excited. They just released the beginning stages of the exhibitors list this week, which when I checked it yesterday, it was only like 19 exhibitors on there. And I'm at, has well over like a hundred exhibitors. So they're adding them daily. Um, they sent, and they sent me an email. They're adding them daily, but like you got to keep checking to see the updates on the exhibitors list. Um, so I haven't really made a list, but I do have a preliminary list. Let me get my book. I do have some things I can share since I've been going for a while. Oh, it's a mess over here. This is my planner, you guys. My happy planner. And I plan at my life. Every element of it. I try to. I try to. Okay. Um. I can check some things off my IMAX plans page. So, um, buy tickets was check. Book hotel is check. Um, reserve check. All right. Okay. Um, so I have some things on my list. My friend Lorinda is going with me. Rennie is not going. Um, that I know that I missed out on. I missed out on like throughout the years of IMAT. So like last year I saw, this is all with the assumption that the same brands will be there this year. So Oh, that's so good. Okay. There are some things that, like, I am getting. Um, ready? Are you ready? So this list, um, melt stacks. So I only get melt stacks at IMAX. Um, I have two right now. One I actually got on Makeup Exchange, I think. But I don't buy them full price. They're ridiculously expensive. Um, I got the radioactive one from IMATS. And while I like it, um, I feel like I would like some of the other stacks a little bit better. I like these neon shades as accent shades. Um, but anyway, melt. Wait, I missed something. Okay, good. Melt, um, baby girl specifically, haze, and gunmetal. Um, those are the ones that was on their website recently. Now, Melt is never at IMAX, but Friends Beauty, hey, Friends Beauty is at IMAX, and they sell Melt. So, hopefully. Okay. Um. Okay. Next thing that I want to purchase at IMAX. Viseart palettes. I'm giving in. It's not that I was against them, but I'm like, Oh, I'm like 80 bucks for an eyeshadow palette. But I want to try them. And IMAX probably has the best discount on Viseart palettes where they're like $54 or something like that. And again, Viseart is not at IMAX, but the Alcom is and they sell Viseart. Um, and the ones I'm interested in are the dark mattes and the editorial brights. Obviously, I'm going to watch these things and really decide, but they're on my list to get. I've passed, you know, too many years not getting them, so... Um, this one really is like a regret that I really regretted last year. Suva Beauty, on average, how much do you spend at IMAX? Hold that thought. Suva Beauty was there last year, and I got, I don't know where they are, but I got some singles from them. Thank you. I got some singles from them, and they were like, buy four, get four free, buy five, something like that. Um, and they're wonderful singles, but they have their Hydra liners. Um, and they were like these eyeliners and pots, these neon liners, and the girls had them. They were glow knock and they were beautiful. And they were kind of the same concept, like buy four, get four free, buy five. They had a wonderful deal. Um, because retail, they're like $18. And at the show, they were like 12 Oh, that sucks. You didn't like it. I'm going to swatch and really see what I feel, how I feel. Um, I might get a small one, like the petite ones. Uh, but anyway, so, and I just, and this, this was Saturday. 
And Sunday I went back and I was like, I got to get those liners. And they were all sold out. I was so upset. So I really want to get those neon liners. Um, they're gel liners in a pot that, yeah, I got to go. Got to get them. Um, the next one is I will, I want to try a violet Voss palette. Um, just, I don't have one specifically, but I'm very curious about this brand. I hear a lot of like, you're welcome. You're welcome. Um, Adept is, is, is a, is a really nice brand and they're my favorite at the moment. So I had to share the love. Um, Violet Voss, because I hear like they're overrated, but I hear like people really love them. And so I've never tried anything and I want to try one. So, oh, good. The marble one, bomb. That's another thing. Like at IMAX, it's not on the list. Oh, it is on the list. Singles. I want to try brands, single shadows. If I haven't tried them, if I have a few filling up these magnetic palettes, I want to try their singles or their individual pans of highlight or blush or magnetic. Yeah. So anyway. Um, I want to get some liquid foundations for my kit, although that's not a hard have to get at IMATS. Um, hmm. yeah, those are my hard regrets. If model in a bottle is there this year, I want to get that again. Cause I remember that setting spray being really good. And I remember being upset cause it spilled in my bag. Um, yeah, those are the things that like I haven't gotten in a, and I and I need to get them. Um, that's pretty much it. But I don't have a full list because they haven't released all the exhibitors yet. So, yeah. Yeah. All right. So how much money do, you, do I spend at IMATS? I'll share. Um, it varies. So. My first year at IMATS, I remember I took one. I was working at Target. And my hair's not represented. Yeah, I'm going to have to give him a test because I hear a lot of mixed reviews. Um, I was working at Target and I had no bills, none. No bills. All my money was just my money. So I took one paycheck, which was about, hey, I had one paycheck, which is about 500 bucks. And I took that to IMATS. Didn't know what I was doing. It was right, you know. Um, and that was, a, that was obviously, if I could buy everything, I would, I guess. But, like, that was enough. You have to know yourself. Going forward, though, every, maybe, like, my third year on or my fourth year on, um, I took to New York now. I took to New York at least $1,000. But... But, but I'm a shopper. So that uh, that thousand dollars was for New was for IMATS, New York because we shopped in New York. Sephora, Elf Store, the Nick Store, all the other makeup stores I want to hit up, all the other shopping I want to do, um, with that thousand dollars. So that is what I carry at least. Um, the last two years, yes. IMATS is open to the general public as well. They have, if you're a pro, um, earlier in the year before the specific show you're going to, you apply for what's called a pro card. And you have to send and everything. And you do get discounts on tickets. And Friday is pro day only. So the pros just go on Friday. And then they can go with general admission on Saturday and Sunday. But everyone else goes on Saturday and Sunday. You can go on the website and get a ticket. So yeah, I took at least a thousand bucks. Holy Grail hashtag. I was looking at the Holy Grail. Thanks for the thanks for the re recommendation. <laughs> so I was looking at that one actually. But um, so yeah, my budget usually includes my budget always includes when I go to New York, I hit up Sephora. I hit up um the Elf store all the time. Um, we like to go to like the smaller costume jewelry stores and these type of stores in New York. So yeah, that covers everything in my budget. This year, I want to take a thousand dollars. To IMATS alone. Um, this is a year I will have the biggest budget I've ever had because I've actually, I started saving what I did. Well, so I say for, after the first IMATS, I save. Like I, after the IMATS, we come back, I start saving again. Um, put my money, well, I used to put my cash in a jar. Now I use my account. I just transfer money over every pay. But, um... Where is it this year? It it travels every year. So 
I go to New York every year. So every year, it's in L.A., New York. Um, they just added Atlanta, Sydney, Tokyo, and London. They travel every year. It's the same places every year. They just keep doing. So I'm at every year. I've gone. To IMAX, I've gone to New York every year. Some people go to the LA one. It travels the same cities every year. So when you ask where is it this year, it's the same place. It's the same places they've always been, with the exception of they just added Atlanta. So it, every year it's not different places. It's just it's the same places. Yeah. <laughs> hey. So um, this year I will have the biggest budget that I've ever had because I brought a lot of money back. Um, I brought a lot of money back. It's going well. How are you? I brought a lot of money back from this year, New York, because a lot of the things on my list, um, I just wasn't excited, not excited about, but they didn't impress me when I watched them. They didn't impress me, that kind of thing. So, um, yeah, and I put it back in the IMAX. Um, this whole year, I actually been working two jobs. Um, when I went to IMAX last year, I had one full-time job. Um, one full-time, wait, we went in April. I had one full-time job, and I was doing my internship. Yeah, so this year, I've been working two jobs. So I've had a lot of extra that I could throw in there. So this will probably be my big, biggest budget. Um, I don't have a solid number for you. Uh, <laughs> and just know it's over a thousand dollars. I don't have a solid number for you, to be honest, because I'm still trying to figure everything out, trying to figure out where I want to go. Um, because this year, okay, so when I go to New York, we go to IMAX. I go to the Sephora. I do my biggest Sephora haul of the year there. I go to Sephora. I go to the Elf store. This year, we're going to hit up the NYX store. We talking about IMAX, yes. This year, we're going to hit up the NYX store. Um, so my mom wants to go in for a few things. Because even though NYX is going to be at IMAX, they don't carry every like all the new stuff when they come to IMAX. They carry a bunch of crap. But, you know, NYX is constantly pulling out stuff. So to the makeup show, we'll go to IMAX, and then we'll go to the NYX store to see what she missed. Because my mom loves NYX. There are a lot of indie brands. There are significant amounts. So to get to IMAX, you just pay the booth fee. Indie brands can go. So they, they have been, I've seen an increase in the indie brands. Um, good. LA is always bumping, though. I'm going to try to go there next year, 2020. Um, so the bike lab from the hotel was not far. It's just that... Um, it's like $150 for the appointment. And I don't know if I'm about that life. It's very exciting. And that's something I might decide to do closer to. But I don't know. But anyway, the what I found out this year is the Muji store. Where I get my five drawers. They have one in New York City and Chelsea. We're staying in Chelsea. They have, they have a Muji store. Like a six minute walk from my hotel. And so I can get more Muji drawers. And not pay the frat, the shipping and handling. So that's another place I want to hit. So, um, oh yeah, oh yeah. So another reason why my budget is a bit bigger is because I got a significant, not a significant, but a pretty decent discount on my hotel. I mean, it's still New York City, so it's still expensive as crap. But um, that discount, so the money I budgeted for hotel, I won't have to use all of it. So. Yeah, pumped, pretty pumped. Um, so yeah, I will share. Um, because I mean, no judgment. I will share after I met how much I spent, like how much I took and how much I spent. Um, yes, I'm going to get some inkblot shadows. I already have a few. Oh Jesus, almost dropped it. I already have a few. Um, I have these three. Here, I'm not getting any more of these. I love them, but I have too many empty, empty, empty palettes to get the thing. I want to try some of the ones that have three shadows in them. I feel like I get a little bit more for my money. I'm going to go back to that Coastal Sense question. I almost forgot. Um, good for you. Stuck to your budget. I always stick to my budget and I always come back with more. We go out to eat. We go to sushi places. So like... IMAX is just a, just a smidgen of the fun we have. I buy my singles from all over. I like to try a brand singles um, all over. Coastal Sense I have the most of. 
on to Coastal Scents. So the only things I've tried from Coastal Scents, I've liked them, um, which is their singles, their hot pots, their glitters, which I've pressed a few of those, their forever blushes, and their revealed palettes. And I think I tried their concealers too. So their singles are my favorite singles. You guys, they raised the price on them. They're not $1.95, they're $2.95 now. Which, but, which makes me happy, they still have their 99 cent sale. So they usually have two sales. One sale where the whole site 50% off, which would make the hot pots like 99 cents. And then another sale where just the hot pots are 99 cents. Um, and they still have that sale, which makes me happy. So, um, hold on, let me move my book out of the way. Okay. These are my favorites. I have a 200 hot pots. So these are my favorite, like 88 of them to fill this adept palette. Um, When you're go when you go, I'm so happy. When you go to IMAX, like you're surrounded by your people. Like you're you're in your flock. You're in your flock, absolutely. So yeah, I'm glad you had a great. Um that's one thing I love about it. Just being surrounded by people just as obsessed with makeup as you are. You know, I don't have that at home either. So yeah, so hot pots are the bomb. Um out of the 200 I have, a couple are a little chalky or patchy, but I mean, that's few and far between. Um, any shade range usually has hit and misses, but oh my God, they have every color you could think of. So really excited. Your debt palette came today? Good. Good. You ready your element? I'm happy. Um, I have the Coastal Sense Revealed palettes. Um... They're decent as well. They remind me of the same formula as the Hot Pots. Maybe a step above. And then they're Forever Blushes. So, yay, thank you for that. You didn't have to. I appreciate that. Finally got my code working. I was I had the wrong code in my description box for a long time. Shows I ain't used to nothing. Um, oh, they're Forever Blushes. Baby. I hope they come up with some more shades. These babies. <laughs> yes, there's a lot of that. There's a lot of that. In <laughs> a lot of that culture, and I love it. Um, these blushes, I think they're like $8 or $7.95, but I bought them all during their half off sale. So I paid like $3, $4. Um, these Forever blushes are the most pigmented things. Um, I have eight, all 18 shades. They are beautiful. They last forever. They, yes, try Coastal Scents. I just gave you a whole spiel on my favorite products, but you can't go wrong. You can't, you can't. They're pretty good. So, absolutely wonderful. What? See, four ninety five. Look, get on it. Get on it. Get on it. Get on it. You do? Get on it. You need to hop on it. Hop on the sale. Hop on the sale. So, yeah, this year, coming home from my mats, um, let me know. You guys watch my whole videos. <laughs> it depends on how much I get, but do you want one big like hour long haul. I don't know what the 99 cent sale is. They usually do them twice a year. I have no idea. Um do you guys want one long haul for like an hour or something? Or broken up into pieces into pieces for like based on what you're interested in. So Sephora, Elf, like a few videos and I meant to be its own thing. Let me know. Because I always never know how to film my hauls because it's always a lot. Um, I think I'll just do IMAX by itself. And then I'll do Sephora, Elf, Nick. It depends on what I get. So Might be a lot of hauls. Might be a lot of hauls. So, yeah. All right. Recommendations for foundation for dry skin. So this is so funny. Because I don't have dry skin. I have combo to oily. But um, that I know what to avoid. I know what to avoid, which makes sense. Um, oh, I have 
tips I can give you. The yeah, I like long haul. I'm not gonna be a long haul anyway. The uh, Maybelline fit me, dewy and smooth or something. Um, I was wearing that for a while until they came out with the matte and poreless. The Maybelline one, it's like six dollars. It's like six dollars. Um, I think I'm gonna please both all of you guys because. The I'm at tall is going to be long in itself. Like, it's probably going to be like 45 minutes. And then I'll do the other store. You're going to long haul, but you're going to have to get multiple videos. Like, you're going to have to <coughs> get multiple videos. I don't know. Um, but the Maybelline, like I said, it's like six bucks. I definitely recommend that. The Dewy and Smooth one. The Maybelline Fit Me is a really nice foundation. It is full coverage. They have the Fit Me powder. Even though you're dry, you might want to set with a pot. Like, it... They have the whole line. I do recommend that. And the other one that I heard was really good, but I don't have it, is the Tarte um, Shape Tape Foundation. This is the matte one, but they have one for um, dry skin. Those are my two. This is really good. Hi! I love my name in all caps. Hello. Yeah? I love the color, too. So, I'm going to work it out for y'all. I'm going to work it out. I like filming long videos. I don't like editing long videos, but with hauls, I really, I don't edit my hauls. Do you, did you ever get the James? Where you been? Yes, I did. And I reviewed it. Okay, let's talk about Morphe really quickly. Not the drama, just because y'all know I like Morphe. Oh, I can do that. So I can do basically like a IMAX products update. So IMAX products update. Thank you for that suggestion. I can do that. I can do that based on what I've used so far. I can do that. I like that. Favorite products from IMAX or products I love from IMAX. Um, I can do that for you. The James Charles. What? I'm drunk. What is that? Oh. Ah. Okay. Um, I did get it. I do like it. I think it's a beautiful palette. Um, I'll show you. There it is. <coughs> Excuse me, y'all. Yes, it's a beautiful palette. I do like it. I like Morphe's palettes. I have not had anything Beauty Bakery. My sister's been telling me to get some things. It's on the list. Uh, my sister loves Beauty Bakery. So. They have the 2439A that's in this format that I'm interested in. I like Morphe. Um, it is... Oh, this one, yes, it's pigmented. I like Morphe. Um... There's so many pals that they have that I still don't have. So I am hitting the Morphe booth. Drama aside, I like Morphe palettes. I think you get a lot of shades for your money. They do. I'm not oblivious to a lot. some of the shades repeat. Um, Some of them in the palettes. They're newer palettes. They've done a lot better with that. Um, the newer palettes, they've done a lot better. Like... Boss Mood, this one right here is what I'm talking about. Yes, wonderful, wonderful. Um, Warrior One. Have I tried the Warrior One? I feel like I have. Yes. 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 I have it. And the Warrior Two. I did a review on the Warrior Two. Um... So, yeah, the 38A, you, 39A, you have it. I want to pick that up. I hope you the show. That's 24G. They have some new of the 15 pan ones that I want to purchase. These were $9 at the show. I mean, I talked about them, I think. I don't know if I did a review, but I talked about them where, like, I mean, you get the, you get the mirror. You get the names on the, like, uh, Murphy's stepping up their packaging. Um, yeah, nine, nine, $9 at the show. 
Tribe, that's on my list. No, I don't have the tribe yet. Dubious Place came back to New York. They were in New York like two years ago, but they didn't come back. They didn't come back, so they need to come back. Ugh. They need to come back. The Warrior One. I do like the Warrior One. I like the Warrior One better than the Warrior Two. Um, because even though the Warrior Two is all mats, I feel like it's not enough variety. Like you got nine mats and like four of them are similar to other like like um here I'll show you. The Warrior One, first off, it's my this is my thing with these metallics here. These browns and metallics. Yeah, yeah. The gold, the gold. But the Warrior 2, I talked about it in my review. Hi. Hi, Crystal. Um, these shades, some of these shades are similar. Like, these are very close. I don't need both of them. Even the ones are brown, ones with burgundy. If you're going to have nine matte shades, um, I do have some recommendations. Nine matte shades. I just wanted them to be a little bit more different. These two. Really? I mean, I was... I mean, do we need all of these? I just... And this is an eyeshadow palette, not a blush palette. I just... I just... I wanted a little bit more variety in an all matte shade. And I guess they're giving you staple neutrals. I don't know. The, the quality of them is bomb.com. This black... You can see how black this is in the pan. Um, but it's just a little boring to me. Uh, highlighters. My favorite highlighter of all time is Max Mineralized Skin Finish in Gold Deposit. Yeah, the pigment, if this is your thing and you need some staple matte neutrals, go. Because the pigment and the quality is top notch. But it's just like boring. Like, I just wish it was a little bit more variety in the matte shades. I just, yeah. Um... Uh, matte gold deposit. I do like the cover effects, um, highlighting powder and candlelight from the drugstore, uh, makeup revolution, the shimmer brick things. Hold on. These. Do they still make these? Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my goodness. They're called Vivid Shimmer Bricks. Oh! Like the Bobbi Brown ones, but these are like six bucks. So. All right. So. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to think of what else I wanted to say. I made an order from Shop Miss A. That should be coming. Mm, what the hell was that? That should be coming. Um... Next week, Makeup Revolution is bomb. My order, not the video. The video will come a little bit later. But um, that's where everything is a dollar for the most part. Original Beauty Blender real techniques. Honestly, okay, I'm back. I don't know what happened, but I'm back. Um, yes, I'm going to do a whole Makeup Revolution's eyeshadows. They're not my favorite formula. Um, to be completely honest, what is this? Yo, I'm just hold on. Okay. My foot, I got my foot propped up here, and I'm like, what am I touching? Um, they're not the best. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. They're not the best. Um, I like the idea of their dupe palettes and everything, and um, I just, I don't know. I don't know. The ones I've tried, I don't know all that. And I've given a few away to family and friends. So, um, yes, I'll do a whole video of Shop Miss A. Probably do a whole mini review, like get ready with me, some type of thing where you can see me using them. Um, now back to the sponge. The Real Technique sponge is a wonderful sponge. It is, it works, it does the job, it's cheap. I like the big one, it's squishy. However, it is, in my opinion, not a dupe for the Beauty Blender. They feel nothing alike. Um, I think the Beauty Blender is softer than the Real Techniques, but the Real Techniques is a perfect alternative. Now, from Shop Miss A, I ordered their Wonder Blenders that everyone is saying is a dupe for the Beauty Blender. So if I fall in love with these, I will get a 20 pack. Um, so we shall see, but 
if I had to pick like which one I like the feel of more, it's the beauty blender. But the real techniques, yeah. Now I only I never buy beauty blenders full price. I'll buy them if I get a discount like at IMAX. Where I actually still have Yeah, I like the flat top part. Um, but again, feel wise. Chair squeaking. I actually still have two brand new beauty blenders. This was a six pack, and I got it from IMAX for like six for 60 bucks. It was a six pack with the thing, and I got it from IMAX for $60. And um, I still have two that I have not used yet in my big jar of sponges. Um, I love sponges, I love collecting them, and I use all my sponges, but these replace like when a beauty blender gets gross. And I think I gave two away to friends, but. Um, yeah, well, I get more beauty blenders at the show. It depends on how good the discount is. Because I do like having a lot of beauty blenders. I really do. Um, 60 bucks. No, it was 60 bucks for six sponges and cleaner for the whole kit. It was 60 bucks <laughs> for six sponges. One beauty blender is $20. Um, school is going well. I finished my first semester of graduate school. I got a B um, in my first class. My class is six credits, which like, who, who has a six credit class? Who does that? Um, my second class, my second sem semester doesn't start until actually like a week before we go to IMAX. So it doesn't start until eight, April. Um, yeah, it's a lot for sponges, but a beauty blender... And the soap, um, it was a it was a deal, but like I said, I don't get them. I'm not gonna, yeah. But the real technique sponges, that's my jam. But anyway, um, my next class doesn't start until like a week before we go to IMAX, um, in April. So it's going well. I'll be glad when it's all over, but that's gonna be a while because I do plan on going for a doctorate, and so. I've been in school my whole life. Yeah, 60 bucks. <laughs> for six. Let me... I know it sounds like a lot, but like if you bought six beauty blenders at Sephora, that's $120. So... I don't know. I don't know what I'm supposed to say. This. Beauty blenders. This whole thing with... It was six sponges in here. Six beauty blenders plus the soap was 60 bucks. What do I use to clean my breakfast? Baby shampoo mixed with some olive oil and dishwashing liquid. Um, I alternate the dishwashing liquid and the baby shampoo. Um, oh, thank you. I'm trying. Uh, the um, Actually, what I've been doing instead of baby shampoo, baby shampoo is a little bit cheaper. But I use Dawn dishwashing soap when I have it. So Dawn dishwashing soap, I squirt a crap ton, because I washed on my brushes at one time, a crap ton in my little jar. It's like this big. Um, I fill that up like halfway. And then I do olive oil, because oil will break down the makeup on the brushes. So I use the dishwashing soap, and I use some oil. Um, and I wash them. And I sit down, and I watch TV. I watch Netflix. I like have my earphones, my Bluetooth in. I sit in the, the bathroom sink. That's how I do it. So, you can pay 60 bucks. <laughs> um, I have, yeah, I put my Bluetooth in. I set my phone on the sink thing. And um, I, with oil of LA, olive oil. Or are you telling me olive oil? <laughs> uh, and I sit at the bathroom sink because I can't sit in the kitchen sink because it's too high, too low. Um, so I sit there and I watch TV, watch Netflix, and I wash them all, wash all my brushes. I wash all my sponges too. Um, it takes me like two hours. So, see, that's the thing. The cleanser, it actually works really well, but I got a lot of brushes. So, that's, it gets expensive. So I use some Dawn dishwashing soap. So, dishwashing liquid. That's what I use. So I don't know. Whew. 
not even sleepy. I worked, I came from the gym. Um, what is the best brand of, I can't answer that because, um, that's subjective. People like different types of brushes. My favorite brand of brushes, um, would have to be between Elf and Real Techniques. Um, Griffin is great. I don't know where he is. He's in the room with Nelson. I'll go get him in a minute. Um, Elf and Real Techniques. Uh, I like a few Morphe brushes. I like Morphe's eye brushes. Uh, yeah, the drama gets in my nerves too. Just, just ignore it, honey. Or read it and don't say nothing to do your own thing. Um, I'll answer your question in a minute. Um, yeah, I would go with Elf and Real Techniques. They're cheap and you can get a whole face and eye set of brushes. Like, they have brushes for everything. So, I would go with them. I like Morphe's eye brushes too. Um, I'm like, I'll get Griffin in a minute. Oh, so what I'm studying now for my master's is learning design and technology. So it's, it talks about, um, basically in a nutshell, developing technologies, helping implement new technologies, studying, no, I don't have any wing gauze brushes, uh, studying, and I'm not interested, they're expensive studying the ways and techniques and the behind, like all that of the way people use technology to learn specifically online, specifically on online learning platforms and just the design and the implementation and in the study and all that. And so um, am I a teacher? Mm, sort of. <laughs> um, okay, I'll tell you my background. After I finish that. So that's, that's what my master's is. My bachelor's is laboratory management and microbiology. And my, I have an associate's as well in biology. So um, STEM, women in STEM, let's do it. Um, I did work as a teacher. I do, the master's would be education. Master's would be an education master's degree. Um, I taught for almost three years. Um, I have been like a get, my mom has been a teacher for almost 20 years. She teaches adults in like higher education and certificate programs, medical assistant, medical billing and coding, farm, um, uh, not farm, phlebotomy. My mom teaches those things. My mom teaches those things. So, um, she would, when I was young, like in high school, like they had to teach like math and I had to teach certain things. And like, um, she would go over like her lessons and everything. And I'm like, mom, why don't you do it this way? I was you know, helping her out and everything. And she was like, why don't you come to my class and teach the math and teach that? So like when I was in high school, I was like going to her call her higher education institution. She's taught at like six different ones and would be like a guest lecturer for the day teaching and everything like that. And then when I graduated with my associates working on my bachelor's, um, I got a job teaching computer software. Um, and I got a job teaching that at the same school my mom taught at. And I taught, for two and a half years, I taught adults. So these are people, again, that are going to school to get certifications in. I mean, I taught everyone from 18, you had to be 17 to sign up, eight, 17, 18, to like in their 70s, switching careers. And my specific studies were that I taught was computer software. Um, so I taught Microsoft Office, Microsoft Excel, PowerPoint, Word, a um, little bit of Access, Outlook. That's what I taught. Um how to do that. And I taught people that were computer savvy and people who, older people who've never owned a computer. And I had to teach them how to do those things in a certain amount of time. Um, and I taught that. And then another class that I taught um, was electronic health records. And what that was is because these students were going into the medical field, like medical assistant, working in a medical office, things like that. Um, how to run the software, the patient information. So not so much, I wasn't teaching the medical part, I was teaching how to work this software on the computer, how to keep your files protected, encrypt things, blah, 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 blah. That's what I taught. Um, and then I also taught just by force of like, maybe the teacher was like, here's the book, can you teach it? Yeah, you, when you're, people are born teachers and I'm not trying to brag, but like, Everyone is not meant to be a teacher. There's some things I just can't do. And I believe that I was born with that gift to teach. I love learning. I love being a student. And so I think that helps me teach better because I know like one of my big things, I didn't give a lot of homework because it's a pain in the ass. And when you're an adult and you do, you work and you do, ain't nobody got time for all that stuff a lot of times, unless it's completely necessary to like work on a project at home or something. But I was not a fan of busy work or petty work. But anyway, 
I taught medical law and ethics um, for like three semesters. <laughs> yeah, I read the book and I taught medical law and ethics. So um, you should. We need more. Yay for you. But yeah, that's what I taught. Um, and so, yeah, I taught that for three years. My girlfriend's in here. Two and a half-ish years. Um, and then I went on to actually the school that I taught, that campus closed. Um, and I could have went to another campus, but I was I was commuting. I was commuting an hour. I live in Pennsylvania and I was living working in Maryland. And I was like, well, maybe I should just maybe I should just um yeah, maybe I should just uh like find a job in PA. And so that's when I started working at a lab. I work at a microbiology lab, a microbiologist. Um and I worked there. And then I also worked. So I went back and forth for these two jobs. One was full-time, one was part-time. And the other one was full-time. The other one was part-time. And so I'm still working at both. Um, so I work as a microbiologist. So that's my science. And then, um, like, side note. I never thought, like, when I studied biology and I got that degree, that my job would literally be looking at a microscope all day. And it really is what it is. That's what I do all day. But I also work as a STEM education, um, a STEM educator at a science museum. Um, I developed the curriculum for activities that we do a lot of outreach. We do a lot of educational outreach um, from middle school, from elementary school, preschool to through high school. Um, um, it may be none of my business, but I don't like your hair color. You're way too dark for it and it looks a bit dry. I will recommend you go to chestnut color. It's just not pretty to you. It's pretty to me, so therefore, you're right. It was none of your business. But anyway, um, you don't like it? I mean, don't dye your hair blonde. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you for that. That, I mean, I'm glad you feel comfortable, but that comment, I mean, it didn't hurt my feelings, but that comment was completely unnecessary. Like, everyone has an opinion, but just because you have one doesn't mean I need to hear it or care about it. Um, I like your hair. I like it, too. I'm thinking about dying it anyway because I've been blowing for like huh a few years now huh um I've been blowing for a few years I want like a burgundy or something just to switch it up but like her comment it's like it's it's not your hair yeah like it's none of my business you're right if you have to start it with it maybe none of my business then it's none of your business like I'm gonna help you out Gertrude you could have said like are you changing your hair color or like you've been blowing for a while like you know but you you would recommend, like, why does your recommendation matter? <laughs> That's so funny. And it's so, like, like she really took her time to write it. I'm not, I mean, I'm not upset, but that's just, I don't, let me ask you a question, Gertrude. Why did you feel as though, like, you made that comment to me. It's fine. It's completely fine. It's fine. It's not pretty to you. It's fine. And that's okay. You have the right to that opinion, and I do respect it, because there's things people wear that I don't like. I know how you feel, but why did you feel you had to say it to me? Did you sit back and think, why did you feel as a one? What what if it hurt my feelings? Like, what if I got upset and started crying? Would you feel bad? Like, why? I I, I guess this is a good time because we're live. I'm going to ask you, like, I don't understand how people make negative comments like that on people's, like, Instagram and pictures. Like, wh why? <laughs> I just, I just want to know why did you think that was a good idea? Because just to let you know, it wasn't. Um, yeah, mm -mm, try again, sis. That was that was not good. Um, but anyway, back to um, yeah, teaching. So, and I work. Yeah, I work as a STEM educator. So it's really cool. Um, my focus is <laughs> it's Gertrude. I've never seen her before. She posted rude comments. Who asked her? <laughs> I'm just an honest person. That's fair. I'm an honest person too. But my question is, why did you feel as though you needed to tell me that? Did I say, what is you guys' opinions on my hair? If I said that, fair. But why did you feel as though you had to say it? <laughs> I don't understand people like that. I'm an honest person. You should be honest. You, you should be honest. But I just don't, I just don't understand. Um... Where's my comments? Where's my comments? Oh, there we go. Yeah, so we're gonna, um, damn, I don't wanna remove it, but like, 
I think I want her to be blocked. Let's do that. I don't want to remove. No, I don't want to remove it. There we go. So y'all said, wait a minute. I'm curious. She said she posted rude comments before. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. I never, I never, I didn't see the other comment. What's the other comment? I don't want, yeah, you're a troll. Um, no energy. Thanks. Teach in part. Yeah, so it's fine. Um, that's so funny. But seriously, the hair, I don't keep a hair color that long, y'all. So I don't know. But anyway, um, yeah, so that's what I do. So you asked, am I a teacher? Technically, I am. Um, technically, right now, I, don't, I do teach. Like I said, I create curriculum and I host like classes. I'm teaching, um, I teach like coding, intro level coding. We have a coding program. Um, I, thanks. I, um, I, I'm trying to think of what else. I run a program for young girls in STEM. Young girls that are interested in STEM. Um, I'm in charge of that program. We need some mods. It's all good. It's all good. Um, for young girls in, in STEM, we actually have a meetup uh, on next week where it's actually the science of beauty. Um, I'm creating a curriculum. It's an activity. It's like three or four hours. And we're going to create some lip bones and bath bones and talk about the chemistry behind um, behind cosmetics and stuff. And so that's what I do at the Science Museum. I am a STEM educator. My title is STEM Education Facilitator. So I run STEM education programs. So facilitate them. Teach them. Um, so where my career would go, thanks, where my career would go, um, I love science, like physical hands-on science. Um, Physical hands-on science. Sorry, y'all. All this crap just came up on my phone. Physical hands-on science. Hi. Um, I love. But I also don't want to be in a lab for my entire career. Um, unless it's managing that lab or running the entire lab. That'd be really cool. But like where my degrees, I want them to take me is in the fields of science and education. Some kind of way, I want to be providing the tools and the resources to get specifically young girls, but students interested in STEM and, and to, they got to shape the path. They're the future. We got to give them the tools. We got to help them. So science education is really a big deal. Personal goals is, I don't know. I love makeup and I got to tie it into makeup some ways. I mean, like, you know, like people say they want their own makeup line. Like, obviously that's a dream. Obviously I can see that happening, but I want so much more. See you. Thank you for chatting with me, love. Um, I want just more than this. I want to be a whole brand. Like, I just want to be a cosmetic company. I want to be a whole entity. <laughs> I don't know what that is. So, like, like one of the brands that I really enjoy how they work is ColourPop. Um, I love ColourPop's products, but just, I love the idea of having, like, your brand, right? Oh. Having your brand and having... Like ColourPop's, like I watch their videos and like behind the scenes, everything is done under the same roof. So, hey, so I'm thinking of a shade in the office to going down to the lab, creating it, filling the orders, marketing. All of the departments are under one building. Hey, are under one building where you don't have to outsource to a lab. Everything is made in-house. That way they can keep rolling. Like, I love that idea because that incorporates the science. I can be a part of the lab part. I can be a part of the science as well as a part of the beauty, the the marketing. Like, I don't know. Like, that really works for me. I want my brand to be that, to be in charge and not have to pay anyone else to do anything. Candace Victoria handles it all. The marketing, the development, the lab, the orders, the sh like everything under one roof. I love the way ColourPop operates. Um, I really do. So, yeah, hopefully one day.
Um, thank you. Let me know here. I know that's right. I know that's right. <laughs> I will let you know. What time is it? I guess we'll cut it off at 10 because it's 9 42. It's an even time. <coughs> oh, come on. Come on. I'll have her, I'll hire everyone. We'll be we will be inclusive to everyone, all colors, all genders. But you know I got a soft spot for a woman, for a woman in STEM. So let's go. Come on. I know that's right. Your degree is chemistry. Let's do it. Let's do it. So I can work. I know that's right. I need that. Because your customer support, like people, when we talk about reviews on companies, like that's that's People will stop, stop messing with a company based on how they were treated by customer service. You can have the best products in the world, but if your customer service is crap, you ain't, mm -mm, that word will spread like a bad rash. So yes, we need them. The voice of the company. For real. Uh, do I have any new 2019 hauls? Not really. I did, I got some mini, some clearance things from Ulta today. But, um, but nothing yet. The same thing about loving the science behind makeup, principles, and techniques. Um, so, it's here. My, oh, speaking of which, somebody asked about my hair again. Um, um, I have been wanting to cut it. Like off, like I'm, I'm not, I'm not, but yes, I do find myself having to defend makeup. Like I do, um, to men and women. Now that I think about it, I was going to say it's not just men. Um, we'll talk about that, but anyway, I didn't want to cut it off like a big chop, but I don't have the balls, so yeah, men Men always got something to say about about women and yeah, men always got something to say. Um, women. Now that I think about it, I'm trying to think of who I'm defending myself to more. You know what? It probably is women because. With men, I don't even view it as a defending. I view it as a explaining why you have no opinion. Um, like maybe I, with men, it's like, yeah, maybe. they buy the same Jordans. How about the same Jordans? How about the same shoes? How about that? How about, how about, how about that? Um, but it ain't even about that. It's like, I understand, I understand attractiveness and I understand like a lot of cakey makeup might not be attractive. That's fair. I also understand that some women do have like self-esteem issues and they wear makeup to hide or to, you know, they don't let people see them without makeup. I do. I understand that. I do. And it's real. But what men think is that's how it is for everyone. Like they think that girls who wear a lot, I know I wear a lot of makeup, you know, are have self-esteem issues or we're wearing it for them. My favorite line is like, you don't need all that makeup. I like my women natural. First off, do you think I own all of this to impress a gentleman? And what they say? To impress a gentleman that can't tell the difference between Russian red and ruby rope. Like, you really think we own all this for you? Like, my boyfriend, like Nelson, he loves when I get all dolled up. He'll compliment. Like, I know he likes, he doesn't like nude for some reason. He don't like nude lipstick, nude nail polish. He like colors. Um, <laughs> he likes colors. Um, hi, Chicago. He's colors, but he, um, he'll say, you know, he, he realizes this is, I'm having makeup right now. Like the, when I hung out with Nelson, like our first year of our relationship, I didn't wear makeup more than I wore it because I was like, I don't wear it. For, it's, he gonna see me. He gonna see me. But we were all, we lived in two different states. So we only had like a weekend. I got to do my face. Like we just hanging out. Mm -mm -mm -mm. So I almost never wore it when I was with him just cause for the sake of time. But he loves it. He respects it. He knows I don't wear it for him. Like, if you get dolled up on a date night, you know. But, no. Grand scheme of things, this is not for him at all. This makes me happy. Um, also, that pisses me off with men is... He don't like the dark color. 
Also, what pisses me off with men is they have no idea what no makeup looks like. Because you can show a picture of... You should show a picture of, um, like, I don't know, no makeup, makeup woman. You know? Yeah, like my woman, like, just no makeup. When she got on foundation, mascara, eyeliner. <laughs> Men don't even know what that means. <laughs> right. Men don't even know what that means. Now, women, I find, and I hate to say this, I also, I hate to say this, but the women that I have come across that have criticized me for my makeup or criticized women or criticize, like, you, you know, social media, whatever, are the same women who, um, I don't want to say are jealous. I, I'm going to keep, I'm going to keep it real. I'm, I'm going to keep it real. You're basically... <sighs> I'm trying to get my words right. I don't want to offend, but it is what it is. Natural sisters who don't wear makeup. Like, natural sisters who don't wear makeup, you just don't wear makeup, you don't, that's not your thing. Don't, and it's, don't judge other women who wear makeup. You know what I'm saying? The women that judge the other women for wearing that makeup, low-key can't get their wing right. They've been practicing, and you just wish you could get your wing. What is going on? What, what is going on? Oh, I don't even, I'm trying to look and see what Dora's talking about. I don't know. Anyway, it's like, I don't know. I, you know what I'm saying? Like, the women that really have something to say, I feel like are just jealous that you can't beat your face and you don't know how to beat your face. Meanwhile, if you practice, obviously, I, I wasn't this good at makeup when I first started. If you practice, you'll get that way. Like, who, yeah, I, I guess that's what I'm trying to say. You, you, yeah, if you're just natural, you don't do makeup. Like my cousin, she like, I ain't got time for that. But she will, she will pump my beat. Yes, girl, that look good. <laughs> But she just not it. That's not her thing. But women who, yeah, they criticize it. But saying, I've had friends. I've had not friends, but like you know, Facebook associates. You know, that might make a post about cake face makeup, all this, and then when it's a special occasion, ask me to do that makeup. So then come to help. Exactly. I've had it. Um, I've had it. So. It is. I think the ones that criticize, like, to each his own. To each his own. Like, yeah, but it's a jealous. I really do think it's a jealousy thing. Not so much in what I have, but what I can do with this makeup. Um, and I think they don't realize how much that goes into it. But someone made a point about the men, and it's like, you like every cake face model on Instagram, though. Yes! Like, in every picture. Yes. So, that is so funny, y'all. I'm glad we're on the same page. <laughs> Look inside. Uh, I think that's what it is, too. It's a transformation. But it, then it's like, I, yeah. Yeah. That's not intimidated by none of it. So it's just like, I don't know. Yeah. And are just like, but hold up, hold up. Y'all got to see on Instagram. You know how they say, take us women on the first date. There is like the trend with men are, the trends with men are digging the airbrush beards and getting their bald spots filled in. And there was a girl who tweeted, like that's the new trend. Um, That's the new trend with like, you know, men who losing their hair, their beards, like men who can't grow beards. They have like these beard, like, like lace front beards. Like this is a thing. <laughs> and I was like, we need to be taking y'all swimming <laughs> on the first date. Um, oh my God. Oh my God. It was so funny. So everyone has insecurities. I do have insecurities. Um, we all do. <sighs> yeah, they got something to say. Like, why why would I put on my face or how I dye my hair or how I wear my neck? Why does that affect you? 
you know, right. Or like you have friends, like your true friends don't tell it like it is. Like my friends know I love makeup and my friends know that this is my thing, but my best friends will say, that's not the right look to go with that eye. But I'm not, they're not hating. They my friends and they keep it real. Like, like Gertrude on here, I don't even know her. Like your opinion is invalid. You know, my best friend is a different situation, but that's not, you know what I'm saying? Like you have friends that keep it real. Like my other makeup buddies, we talk and we, you know, but that's the only people I actually listen to. That's the only people I actually listen to. We have insecurities and that's okay. And and even if makeup helps your insecurities, that's okay. That should be nobody else's business. Um, Hello? You don't need no like makeup. I didn't ask you. Right. And I always say, y'all know, of course I don't need it. That's not, you think I'm buying it because I need it? Um, take me swimming on the first day. I just wear waterproof. Hello. Spray some Scandinavia and some Urban Decay. We good to go. What do you want to do? I love the um, waterproof makeup challenge with the take her swimming on the first date type of thing. And it was like, so I I really like that. That trend that was going around. Um that was fun. You guys are great. <clears throat> you guys are great. Um, I don't know what else. It. I just wish people just, again, mind their business, respect and love one another. Be kind to each other. You know, like, you don't know what the other person is going through. Um... Seventeen fifty. Yeah, my aunt was fashion fair. Yeah, I went here funny story about my aunt, so I don't understand. She's in her fifties, six fifty five. Right. Um. Leave me in lashes. My lashes alone didn't actually. I love it. Um. My aunt, y'all. So she can't seem to understand that. Thank you. Perfusion is, is getting up there in my um getting up there in my favorites. She can't seem to understand that all <laughs> makeup shade names are not universal. <laughs> so she wears fashion fair and something else. And this was like two, three years ago. And she was like, um, like I've done her makeup before, so I kind of know her. I know her um leave my like what is it? Leave me and my lashes alone. I like that. Um, anyway, she wears like fashion fair, whatever. <laughs> and her shade in fashion fair, one of them is called walnut. Fine. So she's like, you going to the makeup show? You going to the makeup show? And I'm like, yeah. She's like, well, can you pick me up some more foundation? And I'm like, well, fashion fair not going to be there. Well, you can, you know, get something you, you like. I'm walnut. I'm like, that means nothing. <laughs> I'm like, what? She's like, yeah, my shade, I'm walnut. So if you, you know, I was like, well, they don't have fashion fair. And she's like, no. She's like, but you know, um, she was like, you know all of the brands and stuff. She's like, you know, whatever brand, like what makeup you like. And I say, for example, I'll say, okay, just for an example, um, well, I like the Urban Decay All Nighter. Do they have walnuts? Like she's not understanding that, that name is not universal. To this day, she's still like she still buys her regular ones or whatever. But <laughs> like, I don't understand. She, yo, it's the funniest thing when you talk about makeup. She's still to this day. She'll say her shade, but she gets a new, a new make. I think I gave her not Mac Studio Fix, something else. It was a while ago. I gave her uh, another foundation that she likes now instead of her fashion fair. I don't know what it is. I don't. I don't know which one I gave her, but let's say it's this one. I did see that video. That was pretty cool. Let's say this is her shade clove. So if I say, I say, mm. <laughs> yes, I say, um, mm, I'm gonna go get the new Mac foundation. Dude, they got clove? Cause you know, you gave me clove. <sighs> she just not get it. She, she said what she said, right? She, she was worn that. She said what she said. But it was so funny. This went on for like, I mean, it still goes on, but I think um, not as much as anymore because we haven't talked about makeup in a while. But oh my god, that walnut! It went on for like two years I'm trying to find walnut. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> that means nothing outside of fashion fair. 
She's like, do they have a walnut? I'm like, and they might have a walnut. And then if I got that walnut, it's probably not your walnut. So she, I've, I've, give, I've given her this rant before. I promise you, I've given her this rant. And she just, <laughs> like, she just did not understand how the shade names aren't universal. <laughs> I was like, oh my God. Oh, so. You guys, this has been great. I have to go tomorrow. I'm actually, um, yo, I'm keeping it real. Come on. Uh, tomorrow, I have to go take my little brother back to college. So, little road trip. I'll be back. Yeah, I know they're going, um, <laughs> trying to make a pie for real. Um, they are going out of business. I'll let her know. But I think, I don't even know if she used the fashion fair anymore. Um, because I didn't give her, I forgot what foundation I gave her, but, um, Anyway, whatever that foundation I gave her now, that's what, what she thinks she is everywhere. Whatever. Um, but this is, I live in Pennsylvania. Where do you think about Makeup Geek? I don't like Makeup Geek shadows, so nothing. What do you think about me? I never had Coco Bear. Um, but I did hear, since she mentioned that, that she's not discontinuing it. She's renaming it. Because Coco Bear is her ex-husband's nickname. Um, so, yeah. But I don't own any makeup the makeup geek shadows I did own I, I sold them or gave them away or something to someone but um I'm not a fan of makeup geek shadows so and I didn't own Coco Bear when I had I had like nine of them bye see you yeah I mean I'm from Baltimore though see you guys all of you guys stay tuned New video is going up Sunday, so. I know. I know. I'm trying to beat it. I'm trying to beat it. Baltimore's my home. Y'all already know. Bye.